Hi, my name is Rex Beanland and welcome to this week's painting demonstration. We're going to uh, take a look at a picture of maple leaves. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to take a look at this uh, maple leaf uh, picture. So I've got my four main colors, but I want to add one alternative color. Because these are all bright and, uh, and warm colors. It can get a little fatiguing to have nothing but those colors. So I'm going to introduce a little bit of a cool color, some green, here and there, just to break up this dominance of the warm colors. So I'm going to take my two inch flat, and I'm going to soak this paper. I want it to be very wet. So I want pretty intense mixture of paint. So I'm just going to do some of that and uh, throw in a little bit of orange. And I'm going to just mix a little of the orange and the yellow so it's not quite as bright. This is sort of the secondary leaf. But I want very much to relate to the main one. And I'm going to throw in some reds. I'm going to have this corner tending to be towards the CAD uh, red light side of things. Now I just, I think that's going to be a little bit too much to have all that yellow there, so I'm just going to tie it in a little bit. Yeah, I like that better. Right in around there. Okay, and then I'm going to move a little bit to the orange side over here, get some orange happening. And I'll add a little bit of that down here. I'm going to throw in the first of my green just to break some of this stuff up. Just get a hint of it here and there, maybe a little bit there. Now down here I want to go more to the quinacridone red side. You see how it spreads? It's a quinacridone rose, sorry, is a very strong color. It's a staining color and it takes over right away and you can see it's it's flaring out there. Okay, so we'll let it do some of that, put a little bit of that down there. As long as it stays wet, it's like the first wash, and I have a tremendous leeway to add things and move things around. So I want to get as much accomplished color-wise in this first wash as I can. So I think a little bit more of that in there would not hurt. Like this, for example change the color balance back to red. That's good. That one's, that one's okay. Okay. My basic plan with some modifications is I now need to add a mid value of, uh, of the various colors just to start defining some of the edges to make the various leaves stand out. So the first thing I want to do is I want to start accenting my main leaf here. I'm going to take some down here to begin defining this leaf. And I'm just going to bleed it off a little bit with pure water. It needs to be a bit darker still. Add some less that should do. Take that and then I'm going to bleed that into some orange, a bit neutralized with ultramarine blue. Just kind of let that run together. 
bleed that off there. I need this to be a little bit darker. Yeah, that's not dark enough. Okay. I need something here. Color in there, so add a little bit of the orange. Now I need this leaf's on top, so it's kind of casting a shadow down here. And I want to try and get this value right. I'm going to just just so I can better deal with that point there. So I'll just get a bit of a lost and found edge there. Add, adding some water. Maybe just drop in a little bit of cad red in there. And then in here I'm going to go for a little blast. And I'm going to take the same idea and just hit certain spots. Lead that off. Over here, I want to make this leaf stand out. So I'll just cut around it. And again, I'm going to try and have this as a cast shadow to reflect the shape of the leaf that's casting it. I'm switch back to the one inch. I need some of this to bring out that leaf. Yes. Okay, that's what I want. I just don't I want that to kind of blend into the orange part. Yeah. No, I think I'll stick to the red side of things. That I want to. I'm just taking pure water here just to bleed this in to get a lost edge. Since I have this mixture, I'm going to take it and just kind of define a. Just pretend that's a leaf type shadow. I want to um, add some of my medium light shadows where sort of light is you know, kind of shining through some leaves and so I want to get some sort of leaf shaped shadows. And I'll put for example here would be a good one. Of a, a shadow there. You can have one coming in here. I go a bit to the yellow and have one back to more of a red. So I've got my uh, got my rigger brush here, and I'll just go with this red mixture, neutralize it a bit. That's a bit too much. And 
And then I'm going to go to some of these like this. And what I'll do is do a little hit and miss thing. So where the strong shadow comes in there, I'll get the line to stop. So I'm going to go with quinacridone rose, some viridian, a little more. Okay, and I'm going to take it here. Half inch flat. That shadow in there, I'm going to have it a little bit offset. So hopefully, it'll make like this leaf look like it's further behind. Like that, there. Uh, I'm going to have a bit, this one down here, now I want to take this less intense shadow and this one here. Over here we'll have one. And then this one here is an opportunity now. I'm going to just change the shallow, or shadow Get away from the red, go into more of the blue. The ultramarine blue. Okay. I just think this area here. Can be a bit of a shadow. And this one over here. So I've, I've stepped back and taken a look and overall I'm quite happy with it. Certainly colorful. I love this shadow making that stand out. Um, it's very organic. I can't I need to I need to step back like uh, for a while like overnight to leave it just to see how it speaks to me. So that's what I'm going to do. If it needs something else I will come back and uh, uh, fiddle with it a little bit more and if not I may just say this is it. So this has been the Maple Leaf Demo and I hope you have enjoyed it. Glory I'm headed for the big time My shoes are ready for the big climb I'm not afraid This storm